everybody, it's Robin. I'm here with Mammy, and we are going to do Christmas polar bears. So I started this tutorial with a medium blue, and I'm going to say the name of this one because I love it. It is uh, No Room for the Blues, perfect name, and that is OPI. And um, I'm topping it with a lighter color, and it is very expensive, so I'll keep that name to myself. <laughs> just add some white to the other one. But you just want to do a quick tip like that it doesn't have to be perfect and how you do a tip is take that pull to the end and make your straight line then take off the excess and meet your line back up pull and pull down now let that dry by the time you get and do all ten of them like this they should be dry enough to start decorating and this takes a lot of time to learn. So if you accidentally mess one up and go like this or something, let's do a weird one, okay? That's even better. You don't have to worry about getting it perfect, okay? Especially for this design. So let's do another one. You're doing your best. Try and try and try to do it as straight as you can so that you can get your practice in. But if it's not perfect, don't worry. Just keep on going. So I did these a little bit weird just to show you. Okay, meet you back. Okay, so now I'm gonna go at the, at the line where they connect and I have blue and white kind of mixed on my brush so that sometimes you're gonna see white, sometimes you're gonna see blue. There's medium right there. See when I put the white in how it mixes and gives the illusion of a snowy mountain behind the, the mountains. And I'm gonna look at my brush and say, oh, Robin, clean your brush. Oops, that doesn't matter. So here is that. And that. And see, I've got, I've got too much blue. So now I'm gonna to go to white and just kind of make a mountain line like that. When I'm done, it'll look like this. And you're ready. Now, you could put like someone from Frozen on here. I'm not giving you any ideas. And, um, or anything you really want, but I'm gonna mix up some light, light gray or use silver. Either one would be just fine. But here is where you would start to put the bear in. So it's a circle with two round circles. And then I'll start like finding the shape of each bear. I'll meet you back. Right, I am ready to bear this up. Let me find that, there it is. Okay, so with gray, I'm gonna, um, okay, so here's the structure. I'm gonna push in the head like this, and then it's gonna be like a triangle, like this, like a little triangle with a round head, like that. Then, um, he is gonna have his hand up, like that, like he's waving, and his ears, that very simple see just very simple now he's gonna have a foot like this and a foot like this and then you can leave his other arm like that okay you're not gonna see the bear yet this is just his outline all right now in this one I'll put like a, a bear coming out the side like this like his head and then do a ear and an ear like he's looking in the camera like that then I can do one on his back oh my gosh there's a million ways you can do this and I'm looking at a million of them so here we go this one has his butt in the air oh my gosh that is so cute so imagine painting a drumstick right here then his head is like that his foot is right here and then make his ears and these are all just place keepers these are just so you know you're not going to run out of room like that because so so I'm going to put all of the little <coughs> oh, sorry you're good bless you mammy so the, now you're just putting in all the little skeletons and then I'm going to when I meet you guys back I'll put out white and black and red and green all right so I am ready Kind of. Okay, so with white, I'm gonna go in, cap the uh, top of his head, and then 
around, make it round. Then with the wide, go around and make his ears just highlight. And then he's holding his hand up. And then you go through to his neck. Yes. And then I'm gonna put the white feet out, white feet out. And then make sure you see his other hand. Don't worry about putting anything in the rest right now. But I want this one to be making, uh, eating, drinking a cup of cocoa like that. So I'm just putting that in as a, as a placeholder. Going to go in again, wipe my brush, clean it. Again, top of the head, do his little nose area, round, round, bare ear. If it's too big, just go to bare ear. You can, wor you can worry about the details later. That's just the next layer. Again, one more. This is two that are hugging, so I'm gonna do a wrap. See, this is smaller, so I have to have it translating. So I'm just gonna do two heads. And if you guys are beginning, you can just do this this way. But two spots, littler spot, littler spot, like that, connect. Littler spot, littler spot, connect. Carl's cleaning his feet, irritating me. Okay, they're there, this one. He's holding, see they're hugging. So there's one and that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then they're like that. Okay, so those are little bears like that. Now, when they're done, let me show you. See the little head and then this one? He's holding a candy cane. He's holding a candy cane and he's just sitting there. Okay, so now let me put in the black and pink and everything. And if Carl howls, I am so sorry. He howls at... So does Willow. Aw. Willow will always howls. There's this. A little black nose. I'm surprised he's not. No, me too, but it's not open, so I don't. I wasn't sure. Okay, then the, with this pink, like that. Now with that same pink, I'm gonna do this, do his little feet, dot, 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 dot. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. With red, very thin red. Am I in the, okay, we're good. And then you go around with the red. Make the candy cane, now that is very tiny and I understand if you guys can't do that straight away. And then he's wearing a, a red scarf. So cute, okay? Now, if you wanted to make it more detailed or if you wanted to make it stand out a bit, you can kind of um, outline it. Here and there, make it pop like that. And highlight it. Write down the candy like that and make it pop. Now, if you really wanted to get detailed, and I'm gonna do all the bears the same way, you can take it and with the toppest of your brush, just dot in a little W for his little muzzle. Like that. Okay? Now, um, hats. For hats, you can go dot, 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 and then have it coming down behind his ear. And then if you've made the ear too big, then you can just go ahead and um, cover the big ear with the red of the hat. Do that, come over and make the fluff of the hat. And you can do it gray first and then go back over with white for it to stand out more. And mine is still wet, so it's going to be a little bit bleedy, but I'll go back over it. But hopefully you guys get the idea. I'm going to finish these up mostly. Okay, now here is the... <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, so I am going to say... Okay, I did this whole design with my wand. 
And actually, I used the old wand, so sorry if it looks all raggedy. I didn't mean to. RobinMosesNailArt.com, the wand. Um, and then I have a striping brush called a unicorn. And all you guys buying my brushes is what keeps me going on YouTube. So thank you to everyone painting with the same brush. It makes it much easier to teach you guys how to paint when we're all using the same brush. So thank you. So there's that. So, okay, let me screw it in. Now these are just details, just details, one after the other. You, you can out, okay, so you can outline them or you can leave them alone and you can put little, um, any, like little, they can have them holding snowflakes, you can make them with different things around their neck and you don't be too hard on yourself because when you think about it, okay, I wanna show you something. Here's a penny, that's how small they are. So that whole bear is on the, the size of a penny's head. So don't get too OCD about it. I always do, but it just makes me a little bit better every time I try it. What I did after um, is I decorated each top of the hat, then I went and put little dots for their toes, added little um, things here and there. I gave one of them a little thing of cocoa with little marshmallows on it. And again, here is a penny. So don't be too hard on yourself. It's just so tiny. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you back up, Boom, it looks perfect, see? It looks like a winter wonderland. Now, what I did for the snow was I just put little dots of, um, of, of blue on there, and it looks like white snow is falling, but it's actually blue. Then I capped every top of the mountain with a little bit of white, and that makes it look more 3D. So now I'm gonna put the last light on these, so you guys can see, because I top coated them with a matte top coat, but that way, everything kind of goes together in the most soft looking light. So there's another look from them and you can really see the glow of that OPI blue. So yeah, there we go. So there, I wanted to give, I wanted, I wanted to make sure that you guys get every detail of these before you try them. Oh, thumbs? Oh, I don't. So I did a um, Santa going across, but again, when you look at it, you think it's a Santa going across, but let me scroll down, let me show you what it is. It's just a little blob with a thing behind and then lines and then little blobs holding, but you can't really see, it was just a little And I did it so fast I forgot to film it and I'm sorry about that. But I have other designs with those on there that I have filmed. So anyway. I hope you guys try these. If you do, please hashtag me, Inspired by Robin Moses. Get brushes, join. Don't feel it like you're inferior or afraid because we're all at different stages of learning. I'm trying to learn how to teach you the most effectively, so if I've left anything out, just leave it in the comment section on the day that I upload and I try and read all I can. Again, I'm telling my story, so that will be marked, but not in this design, and I will see you back with more. Bye, everybody. Bye. Ha-ha. <laughs>